Greetings, this is Phi. You know, I think this is going to be just what you've been waiting for. So what you're looking at is an additional color that we've added to the plot. <clears throat> so we are going to be cycling three colors now, the gold, the magenta, and this green. So let's see what happens uh, when we begin to develop our plot. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three see some interesting alignments are starting to happen. Well, we have 128 curves to go through, so let's just speed this up and wow, right? Wow. Wow. Remember, we're mixing colors a bit, and now we're expanding. And so I'm going to go back to what I was saying before. You know, I think uh, lots of curves can actually be too much information, so um, it's harder for us to see the minute patterns that are happening in the intersections, but we'll get down there as we zoom in. Uh, you know, it's, it's really very repetitive as well, and you can see these same proportions are happening over and over again. You can look when these, these milestones happen, like one of these axes, you know, meets the center. It looks a lot like when any of the other axes meet the center, so it's, um, they have similar forms. So one of the things I'm, I'm hoping to be able to do once we we can start building a collection of intersection points is identify all the ones that are sitting on a particular uh, axis. And then we can also be able to tell how many curves are passing through a point and we'll get statistics on that because I think that that's quite interesting as well. And um, so, you know, with three colors we're seeing now, you know, the green is the one that... Uh, is the only color that has dense intersections with itself. The others don't. Oops, and there we go. That was a little mistake on that one. I'll go back. Okay, so here we are at the, the furthest uh, in our zoom. And let's just start stepping back a bit. Uh, it's, it's wonderful plaid patterns starting to develop. Make any tartan proud, right? And so Here now, uh, you know, I, I asked a question in the last video. You know, we're seeing uh, just crossings here, just two lines, and then we we're seeing triangular forms here in in this wave, and then in the next wave we're seeing quadrilateral forms being uh, coming together. And oops, I'm gonna go backwards. And then I was asking the question, like, do do we have pentagons here? And oh man, I you know it's much more apparent i think with three colors that we do have pentagons going on here and you know i can see like you know partial five point stars all over the place so if you look at this point this point this point that point and the one that doesn't quite come together is over here but uh there's definitely this you know pentagonal kind of arrangement that's happening here maybe we can explore that a bit further and you know do we have hexagons up here uh, and on this side, so you know, more to more to look at. <clears throat> anyway, let's just collapse it all back down. Let me get that little cursor out of the way. I just love the iridescence from the blending of colors. Right, these three simple colors. Uh, at some point, we'll we'll walk through the code and I'll explain how I'm choosing the colors and uh, you know, I'm picking kind of you know. A complementary triad so when they do blend they're going to blend towards white uh it's not a perfect white it's actually more of a gray uh here in this case but you know some of these are just really amazing i kind of like um zooming out because you don't know what's coming on the left hand side <laughs> in this case and it can be really quite surprising when, we, when you see some of these um these collections start to appear these inter interference patterns uh, for lack of a better term, I believe that that was the center that just passed uh, here. I, I tried to run uh, another uh, plotting zooming into the center, and for some reason it didn't work this time, but I thought this was still worth sharing with everybody who's following here. Uh, and again, thank you to everyone who's been uh, encouraging. And there we go. We're heading back to our first curve. And there you go. All right, I think that's enough for now. Uh, just try to keep everyone up to date. Thanks again for watching.
This is Fi, out. <laughs>